Greek. When you hear the word Greek, what comes to mind? To me, democracy, philosophy, astrology, biology, theater, art, mathematics, and many, many, many great minds. But today, we will be talking about theater. In Greek theater, actors wore many different types of masks. The first round of the Greek comedy was the old comedy. In these plays, slapstick action, political and social satire, sexual jokes, and just about every other device of humor known to man was presented. The chorus was an ensemble of people who sang, danced, made fun of the gods, and revealed the author's opinion. In each play, there were three actors who were performed by male, not women. But women did sometimes have non-speaking roles. New comedy, started in 317 BC, focused on family ma matters, such as relationship, love, and other interests. The chorus was just like in the old comedy. They sang and they danced, but they were fillers between acts, and they also sometimes portrayed drunken audience members to make audience members laugh. comedy has influenced us in many ways, starting from the Romans, to the Italian Renaissance, to England, such as Shakespeare, all the way to theater nowadays. But also, it can be seen on the movies and on TV. So I guess without the Greeks, we wouldn't have any comedy nowadays. Mm -hmm.